this is the first time I'm walking out here. This is something I'm going to do every single day. I'll walk out uh, just to get you used to this. This is uh, I'll walk out uh, like that, and then I'll 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 land here. This is where I stop, <laughs> and this is uh, my floor, I, and I'm supposed to land on this little mark. This is a mark here. They they call it in the business, and it's a piece of tape. <laughs> that what happens is. Um, it's very important, the director says, to walk out and hit this mark. You gotta stand right there, so. Um. Anyway, um, I, uh... Welcome to our very last show. I walked out here 19 years ago and I said that this is the start of a relationship. And today is not the end of a relationship. It's more of a little break. It's, uh, you can see other talk shows now. And <laughs> I may see another audience once in a while. 20 years ago when we were trying to sell the show, no one thought that this would work. Uh, not because it was a different kind of show, but because I was different. Very few stations wanted to buy the show, and here we are 20 years later celebrating this amazing journey together. So, um, when we started the show, I couldn't say gay on the show. I was not allowed to say gay. Uh, I said it at home a lot. I, you know, what are we having for our gay breakfast? Or. <laughs> Pass the gay salt, <laughs> has anyone seen the gay remote? Things like that. But we couldn't say uh, gay, I couldn't say we, because that implied that I was with someone. Uh, sure couldn't say wife, and that's because it wasn't legal for gay people to get married, and now I say wife all the time. <laughs> If you've noticed, if you've been watching the show lately, uh, but we have uh, been playing a game of tag here. Uh, it, uh, we, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It started a while ago, uh, and um, we play in between breaks, and uh, sometimes we play it, it spills into the show. Um, when we're coming back from commercial break, we're still playing tag, and so you'll see somebody running on to home base, which is what we call that, or off. and. Uh, I think by the end of the season, it's just going to be tag and a guest. And I think that's <laughs> mainly we'll see us playing tag. Right now, Claudia is it. And uh, so, yep. Mary, it started with, I was just backstage about to walk out one day, and Mary just touched me and said, you're it. And then it was just between me and Mary. It was just I'd, I'd find Mary. And then uh, Twitch joined in. Uh, and then uh, some of my writers decided to, to uh, join in. So some of my writers are in. Um, one shouldn't be. She knows who she is. Um, <laughs> she just doesn't want to run, and so she's never going to get anybody. Um, then Pete, our stage manager, uh, is playing, so uh, he's playing. Tom, our warm-up guy, who you know, is uh, also in, but he's, he's fastest because he's warmed up. And uh, <laughs> so he's ready to go. Um, Andy refuses to play because he thinks he's going to hurt himself, yep. which <laughs> is accurate because um, he falls down just sitting on a stool. So he would for sure hurt himself. So it's gotten out of hand. So uh, we were at rehearsal the other day. So there's like, there's, uh, a, there's a safe space, which is my office, because we have to have a meeting. And, uh, and I guess once the show starts, we haven't gone into the show yet. No, it has gone into the show, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, but anyway, and this is so, right when we finished rehearsal the other day, this happened. <laughs> Well, it was the music. Once the music started, um, we're very lucky that we can play a, a game like that here because there are a lot of professions where you can't do that. Like, imagine seeing two surgeons chasing each other around the operating table. Like, here's your scalpel and you're it. You know. <laughs> so we have, uh, we actually coming out of break, we had uh, Jennifer Lopez here the other day, and uh, they fooled me because Twitch was, it looked like he was going to dance, and then he got... See, I thought we're standing there to do that, and then Jennifer tried to get me. <laughs> so then, and then Colin Farrell was here, and when Colin was here, 
he got me, and then I tried to get Mary, and then, but I had to start the show, so she, can, she knows the countdown, and then she leaves <laughs> right when I'm starting the show. So Kevin Hart was here. He made fun of us for playing. He didn't think we were that quick. But, you know, at the end of the day, Mary and I continue to play, no matter that people are gone and Mary and I still are playing the game, and I guess some security cameras caught us on tape. <laughs> This is my last season, in case you didn't know that. And if you didn't know, surprise, it's my last season. Um, but anyway, the other day, I was thinking about um, how many monologues I've done. Because, you know, I've done a lot of monologues. Because each show, I do a monologue. And each season, I do 170 shows. And then I've done 19 seasons. So you do the math. Seriously, you do the math. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do math. Anyway. It's a lot of monologues. So uh, I do a monologue, and I know how to do a monologue, but a lot of people don't. Like, you probably don't know how to do a monologue. So I thought, well, I'll teach you how to do a monologue, because who knows, maybe one of you can take over when I leave, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's be realistic. Probably not. I mean, <laughs> they're probably going to go with a name. But um, anyway, the first part of the monologue is very simple. Uh, you just walk out here. Everybody cheers for you. You know, and it's hard to mess that up like that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You know, that's hard to mess up because uh, you're just walking out here. Unless you trip and you fall down, and then you're already getting laughs, which is important. You want laughs. <laughs> so if you fall down, still win-win. Um, and then uh, everyone's standing and cheering, and then you say, please have a seat. Um, and this is very important, because one time um, I forgot to say it, and the audience stood the entire show. <laughs> and. That was the same show, coincidentally, that I forgot to say goodbye, and the whole audience stayed all weekend long. They didn't leave. <laughs> yeah, the lights were out. It was cold. Anyway, so then you move on to a topic of the monologue. You pick a topic. Um, a lot of times, I'll talk about something that's in the news, so I'll show a headline to prove that it's real. Um, like, I'll show, here's a study I saw. 40% of people check their phone immediately after sex. <laughs> and then you would say something like, the other 60% check their phone during sex, you know? <laughs> and then. People laugh, you know. And then uh, you can use funny photos uh, in a monologue as well. And uh, you could show a photo. Here's a, I'll show you how it works. You show a photo, and then you tell a joke. Like here, for example, you can show a, a picture of it's a smoking robot. And then people are like, oh, why are you going to make a robot smoke? And then you say, no, no, it's OK. He only smokes when he drinks. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes during the monologue, what I'll do is uh, I'll just talk to an audience member, because that eats up time, you know? And I'll ask somebody something random. Um, uh, you in the yellow, ma'am, right there. Yeah, you have yellow on. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good, and yourself? I'm good. Thank you for asking. What's your name? Donna. Donna, tell me something about yourself. Sometimes it goes like this, where they don't have anything, you know? <laughs> it's OK. Just tell me where you're from. San Diego. San Diego. Fantastic. <laughs> See? That's great. Have a seat. Thanks, Donna. Yeah? <laughs> See how that worked out? That was good. Um, when you text, there are these things called emojis when you text. You know these emojis things? OK. Emojis, you know what they are? No. OK. <laughs> I'm going to help you the entire time, ma'am. They're little icons. And what they are, they're pictures of different things to show you uh, like how you're feeling. Instead of just typing a sentence, you'd say, like, I'm at the Ellen Show right now, smiley face, so that they know, oh, I'm happy. You know, or I just walked into a telephone pole while I'm texting, sad face. You know? <laughs> People have to show emotion, because we're texting so much, we don't know what does that mean. So like back in the olden days, like in 2005, you'd make faces with like a parentheses and a colon, and you know? <laughs> It took forever. And so then they made this whole menu where there's pictures, and you can just click on, and you can just choose. And um, this is one page of faces just to choose from right here. This <laughs> is a range of emotion. I call this the Meryl Streep page. 
There's so much emotion here that you can show people how you're feeling. This guy, I don't know what's happening right here. <laughs> That's like, uh, did he taste something bad? I don't know how your mouth even does that. You can try to, I've been trying all day to make my mouth. <laughs> anyway. That's why that's there, because we can't do it ourselves. <laughs> but it's not just faces anymore. There's another page of just animals right here. There's a snake, and there's chickens, and ladybugs, and, and uh, tropical fish down here. And uh, what does that mean? Why would you need a <laughs> see in 20 minutes, tropical fish? Like, <laughs> why would you need a tropical? The whole bottom row is basically my tattoos on my back. Um, <laughs> I think at least this page, it's, it's the, the least useful page is this one right here. I mean, f letters and mailboxes, no one even uses mail anymore. And look at the graphs right down here, like, like we use math or something, that's crazy. We're too busy playing Candy Crush. And in the middle of all the mailboxes, there's a French horn for no reason. <laughs> What's that new in there? What emotion is that? How can you feel horn? Never mind, okay. <laughs> I got it. I figured it out. I just, look at this. Thanks so much. Back at you, everybody. Back at you. Um, I found this backstage. Look at that. I'm assuming it was there because it's magic week, or Snooki left one of her earrings behind. I couldn't do this as a child. And by that, I mean last year. I could not, last year, I, I, I could not hula hoop. I never have been able to hula hoop, and all of a sudden, I learned how, and now I, I'm, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> and uh, even though it's Magic Week, it, uh, this is not an illusion, you know, because it was really happening, so it's not really a trick. Um, it's good exercise. Uh, Marissa Tomei is, uh, it's, she's the one who got everybody into this. I don't know, she was on our show, she was talking about that she does this to get in shape, and she has a DVD, and so my mama started doing it, because, uh, and she has the DVD and the hula hoop, and she does everything Marissa Tomei does. And, uh, <laughs> but I, you know, I, I love that she's learned something new, because my mom is 80 years old, and she never stops learning. My mom is always trying <laughs> new things. Please enjoy our very first musical monologue. I was texting with a friend, said, Shelly, do you want to grab a coffee after 10? Or would that be far too latte? Get it, I said latte, instead of saying late. Ha, 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 LOL's our friendship is so great. Shelly started to respond, saw those little dots pop up in the corner of my phone, so I knew that she was typing. Shelly's pretty good at responding right away. Now I gotta wait to see what she is gonna say. Another minute passed and those dots would cause attention. Didn't have to write a novel, it was just a simple question. I'm sure it's happened to you all before. Straight up drive me crazy when those dots go away. No. What the hell were you gonna say? Why the little dots go away? Maybe she just got on a plane and had to turn her phone off. Or maybe she was hiking and got lost up in the mountain. Found a lucky penny, but they fell into a fountain. She could just be ignoring me or with another friend. I know she saw my text because it says that it's been red. Maybe she just moved away to Spain or Argentina. She could have just passed out from drinking way too much tequila. Either way, it's fair to say that we're no longer friends. This is how the story of the Lenny Shelly ends. All right, I'm going to start today's show with an important question. Has anyone been to a store lately? Yeah? OK. Good. Then you'll all be able to relate to this. I was hoping that was the case. The other day, one of my writers, um, I'm not going to say which one. It was Lauren. And OK, so Lauren goes to this drugstore, and I'm not going to say which one. It was a CVS. And she bought three things, which I'm not going to tell you, because they were personal. It was batteries, gum, and rash cream. That's not the point of the story. So. Uh, I don't know if this has happened to you, but uh, look at the receipt that she got. This is, for those three items, this is... <laughs> have you, has this happened? <laughs> it's like, it's the size of a 12-year-old child. 
This is the most insane receipt I've ever seen. And only this part right here, this is the actual receipt. The rest are all coupons. <laughs> There's a coupon here for 50 cents. And it's all related to things that she bought. Somehow they know, because they, they, everybody's watching this now, you know? So they know, <laughs> oh, if you like that, maybe you'll like a coupon for this. And so there's a coupon for 50 cents off gum. Now, you know when she would have needed that? Maybe before she bought the gum. <laughs> you know, so much. It's a little freaky that, that they know what we're buying and then they suggest other things that we might want to buy. Like if you buy something on Amazon and it says other people who bought this item also bought this. You've seen that, right? Like people who bought Golden Girls season one also bought a taser. What? <laughs> Those people are weird. That's, I'm not gonna buy a taser. Other people did, I'll buy a taser, I don't know.